All right. Uh, okay. One more step before we go to the very last step. Sorry, I know I've said that before. If we go to our uh, first page, we can start right here. So maybe the first letter after each uh, header, maybe we insert what's called the drop cap. So what we can do is highlight that letter. Um, you can change the font and I think I might try to go with what I have for my header font. Sorry, I went a little bit too far. Okay, brush script. All right, so we're gonna go uh, with the brush script uh, for mine. I'm gonna go ahead and change the size um and then if i want it to drop down a little bit uh, i can click on this one right here um and uh so once you have that with it highlighted, you can come up over here to your character styles and add a new character style. And we can call, double click on it, we can call that drop cap. Um, and then we can just double check. Size, all that looks good. Um, baseline shift, we got negative two, so that's good. And then we can go ahead and hit OK. Now, with this, when you do this, there's something that is known as kerning. Um, see how the space right here in between the P and the H is a little bit tight? So maybe I want to hold... Option, and then hit the right arrow on my keyboard. So that might vary based on each of your, your, uh, each letter that you do. So if I go in now, I can go through and whenever I see a first letter after a header, highlight that letter, hit drop cap, and then hit the right arrow then hold option then hit the right arrow a couple more times. That way there's just a little bit more space. Um, and then I will have inserted a nice little drop cap for my book or magazine or article, whatever you want it to be. And then now you have that. So <clears throat> that's just a quick little final step. Then we're going to go to the packaging and that'll be the last step. Um, but it's a, it can be a nice little feature.